Hi there, Mark here with another video for ADSR in Zebra from Yuhi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a downshifter. One of these. Oh. It's very easy. I'll just close that one. That's the one you just heard. Let's just open another one, patches, uh, initialize, and we'll get rid of the oscillator. For a change, I'm going to use an FMO. So we'll just get an FMO out. Let's just put that there so we can hear what we're doing. Okay, and these these sounds always sound um, like they're complex, but they're not. Oh, right, first thing we're going to do is put that into stereo, and we'll leave it on FM by input. Basically, it just means it modulates itself. Now, all we're going to do is come to our MSEGs, and we're going to create an MSEG to ramp down the tuning, basically. And to start with, we'll just do... Eight bars. Just get rid of these. Oh. No, you do. Pull that up like so. Come up to the tuning. MSEG1. There we go. But we want it to be on quarter notes. And just leave it on poly, I suppose. <whistles> Basic. That's the gist of your sound straight away, isn't it, really? You've got that falling downward shift of the tuning, which is what we're after. Now, to get the kind of incremental fall that we want to use, um, we're going to use the LFO. We're going to come into the matrix, and we're just going to go to the FMO1 and do the tuning again. But this time the LFO also. So the LFO, and we'll put that to 164. And we're going to mess around with the rate a little bit and probably put something else in here to control the rate. So let's have a listen now. Okay, a little bit much. Let's just use this to find. Okay, so we'll use the MSEG1 again in here just to control the rate of descent. Okay, now, it's simply a case of messing around with the amp, the rate, and the MSG. So let's have a little play around. Nice, maybe slow the MSCG up a bit. So there you go, depending on how slow you want it. Sorry, depending on how slow you want it or how fast you want it, you just mess around with that. But that's it, that's it basically done. Walk in the park. Now obviously. Right, I prefer it there. Now, that is exactly what we wanted to do, but what I'm going to do is make this a little bit longer, maybe say 16 bars. And then I'm just going to pull this along here out of the way and maybe take that up a bit and give that a little bit of length. Now, the reason I'm doing that... No, I'm not. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is right-click copy, go to MSEG2, and paste. And then I'm going to do what I was just showing you there. I'm just going to lift that up a little bit and just have a few bars. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use this to control some of my effects later. And of course, you can add whatever effects you like to this, mod effects perhaps. Perhaps. 
Phaser gives it an extra um, bit of movement. But for sounds like this, you definitely want a reverb, you definitely want a delay. Now it's up to you. I would like to, on these sounds, I put the send full up and I'm going to modulate the return amount by, yep, you guessed it, the MSEG that I just created here. So if I go into the matrix, I want to just go to master, return, master, return to, and MSEG, oh, no, MSEG2, I believe, is what we're after. The one with the extended tail. Now, the reason we've done that, the reason we have the extended tail here, is because if we leave it like this, and I'll just make sure there's no loop on, if you listen, let me just make sure I've turned, let's just turn them up all the way. When the sound stops, it stops. That's it. So let's just go back to global and do something with the reverb. Let's put it full wet, take away the dry and the delay, mix and increase the feedback a little bit. And of course, me being me, I'm going to change that to dotted. It is a tad loud though. So you hear how it stops there. So we come into this MSEG, go to number two, and just lift this up somewhat. Let's see what happens this time. And of course, make sure that that's on quarters. We have this additional bit. When the two bars are finished, it jumps to the release point. And because we have a release there, the, the effects continue to um, be used. So what you have there is a downshifter that has a delay and reverb tail on it when, um, when the note hits the release point. So once again. So the effect continues. Anyway, that was a nice short one. I hope you learned something from that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to go to zebratutorials.com and subscribe for further videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.